Onwards. That technology is so advanced we can't make it work. That witch from the forest must have put the cauldron's fire out. How did the witch stop the cauldron? That was the forest witch? If I'd known, I wouldn't have let her go. <laughs> Where were you, huh? You being helpful? The witch is a refugee from a fallen enemy nation. It's the king's fault she's still alive. Lord Brigan, please refrain from making such critical remarks in front of the soldiers. I cannot still my tongue in the face of weakness. He's just the strangest dude. Hey. Princess, please! May I ask that the king retract the marriage he arranged for me? I can still fight! I would rather die fighting than be subservient! I would like to help, but this is the law. That's odd. Their culture allows for women to be full-on soldiers that die in battle, but also they become subservient once they're married? Princess Gwendolyn, if that horrible cauldron never existed, then this bloodshed would not happen. Hold your tongue! My father is never wrong in his tactics! What strange character design. Her sleeves hover above her body, and she just doesn't wear anything besides the apron at all. But it seems to be floating, as if it's trying to escape. He killed many of our troops! I heard that he pledged his soul to death and traded his life for demonic powers. All I know is that I hope I never meet him on the battlefield. Talking about that demon knight. You won the war, right? Why is everyone so gloomy? I thought I could make a profit if you were all celebrating. Can't be any sort of final victory if it's chapter one. <laughs> Shield ring. I don't think I'm in, in any particular hurry to buy anything. I'll, I'm actually at risk of filling up my inventory if I buy anything right now. Let's just let my current stock survive. I'll save up some money. Switching chapters. You can now change the current chapter with L1R1. It is useful if you, when you want to fight against low-level enemies or obtain items you missed. Interesting. So I can go back to chapter 1. And the objective changes. I wonder, can I just go to other locations whenever I feel like it? Maybe some chapters might have multiple maps on them I can visit. We'll see. Chapter 2. It's definitely a hybrid version between this game and the original. I mean, between... Well, I don't know what the original game was like, but it's, uh, it's definitely... It seems like the, if, the, if the original game was linear in, in the chapter thing, they might... I don't know if the map existed before, but this map is definitely what you would expect from Dragon's Crown. So I'm wondering if the, the uh, chapter switching... Is like a way of mixing the two systems together. Or maybe it was always like this. All I know is that's a very violent chapter selection animation. Or location selection. Do you understand how much we have sacrificed here? If it all was for some hunk of scrap iron, it is a disgrace to the dead. I'll catch that witch and make her spill her guts about that cauldron. If she plays dumb, her head will fly. Someone, stop that fool before he leaves. No, he cannot be serious about opposing me. I shall find the witch. Gwendolyn, I leave the rest to you. Father, please wait. A king cannot idly abandon his own castle. If I had not let the witch go, this would not have happened. Allow me to redeem myself. I shall capture the witch. Gwendolyn, wait. Yes, father? Heed my words. Do not cause undue harm to the witch. She's... Well, she's... she is special. Be respectful. As you wish, your majesty. That may not be in the cards. By the way, Odin has terrible, terrible posture. 
capture the forest witch who holds the secret to the Silence Cauldron. Here we go. Gotta slightly revi review the uh, controls a little bit. Alchemy and, man and Mandragoras. You can concoct a magic potion by mixing a material, bottle, with other components. The process is known as alchemy. First is gather a component, Mandagora. The fling Mandagora can be picked up only after you attack it. There we go. I sort of halfway did that when I didn't even know yet that it was supposed to be the objective. Oh, I guess that was going to tell me to pick that up. Text arc of uh, Helling Tonic. Explanation. Heals physical wounds, said to be a staple of long journeys. You mix a material with a carotier. Alright, so there's more example mixes. Elixir plus carotier. Restore plus carotier times two. Material plus spoiled fruit. There we go. There's a material. So we're going to switch to an alchemy page. Material. Mix. Carotier. Alright. We have a healing tonic for our collection. Recovers 100 hit points. That's uh, two-thirds of my health bar. Alright. Good to know. So now I have five healing potions, so if I take some damage, I'm pretty much all set. Gonna have to deal with inventory soon, because we're gonna start running out here. Might want to use some of these cyclones and whatnots. Magic potions? Is there just two... Is there just two screens of them? Here's Volcano and Whirlwind. Here's Cyclone and Blaze. But both of them have a series of healing tonics. They must have just decided to make multiple pages of them. Because they don't want to crowd too many, uh tiles into one spot, maybe? The, uh, the items themselves. All these mulberry! I just don't see any reason to eat them yet. Yeah, th this area's level four, level four, and I'm level five, so that should be fine. Battle stage! Oh, hey! Surprised me a little bit. Oops, sorry. There we go. There we go, I'm good. Gotta get slightly back in the groove of things whenever I change games. Hey! Well, that was abrupt. I guess I did well. Right? Right? Yeah! Hey, nice. Got a few potions along the way. And there they are. Oh, alchemy. In Arion, there is a method passed down through the ages known as alchemy. A means by which magic may be created within a bottle. Simply dissolve various items into special liquids called materials in order to create these magical concoctions. Many different potions can be brewed through careful application of alchemy. Healing potions, antidotes, tornado magic, or even explosives. Your choice of ingredients to mix within the, uh, with the material will determine the outcome. The quickest way to learn the relationship between ingredients and magic is to try mixing them yourself. However, if you seek a certain formula, you should collect magic recipes. Yum! Gimme! Alright, how full is my inventory now? 24 out of 32, we're getting there. What's the screen looking like? Oh! Oh, I was gonna say it's a short level, but that's because it's undiscovered. That little trick. Up we go. Oh, hey. Don't mind me, just gonna murder all of you. Ooh, I forgot about that attack a little bit. There we go. Moveset should be ready again. Got a little silver. So I've heard that the, the original game apparently didn't have platforms at all in it. Like it was just all a big flat world or something. That's a suggestion people have made at least. Hey! Alchemy and magic potions. Alchemy can not only be concocted with materials, but also with- oh shit. <laughs> Perform alchemy using previously made magic potion to concoct healing tonic. Thank you. Open the bag, select antidote, and then start alchemy process. And to do it, there it is. Mix. The mix will begin once you select uh, the carotier and press X. So, carotier. So I can turn an antidote into a healing potion. Interesting. As you can see, though the mix is normally material plus carotier, you can concoct one with a magic potion instead. This is a great alternative when you have lack of materials or have extra magic potions. This concludes the tutorial for alchemy and magic potions. So I can turn antidotes into healing items, that's interesting. Prevents poison for li limited time, recovers hit points, 
Uh, 30 second block recovers 50 uh, 50 hit points. Ooh, double. Looks like double healing if you're poisoned. Interesting. Oh, we're back into the next level now. It's only a little jarring. There we go. You guys feeling good about this? I'm feeling great. Any other name? Oh, there you go. Thought I might be alone for a second there. <laughs> it's really concerning. <laughs> you make an absolute mess of these people. And you can you can use POW like crazy. Let's see, if I hit skip... Okay, so skip does show the rating right away. It doesn't skip that part. So I get to find out the rating without waiting for it to slowly scroll. There we go. An ancient manuscript. The beast of despair feeds on man and destroys hope. The unleashed frenzy of debt yearns for the light of fire. The advancing inferno scorches the thorns, uh, throne surroundings. In the cauldron that breathes despair, the blood of the ancient boils. When Leviathan, last of the dragons, devours the stone of blood, the path shall be closed and void will cover the world. The prophecy of end. Alright. It's not the craziest thing to get some hints of uh, Ragnarok vibes from that. I have no idea which way is the ultimate exit out of here. That one says rest, so I assume that way is the ultimate way out of here. Which makes me most interested in going this way to see what the hell's over here. I'll be fine. What'd go wrong? Just says level 5. Hey, small insect. Alright, hitting you in meta is not the easiest thing, so get obliterated by projectiles. <laughs> oh, we have danger frogs now. That's a thing that happens. Magic's just fun to use in this game. The more I play video, the more the more RPGs I play in, in action games, the more I get interested in using magic all the time. I used to be a rogue character almost exclusively, but uh, magic's fun because it's it's the most it's often the most variance you get from game to game. That's another S. I'm trying to be more aggressive now. Foes on prism. Um, oh right, that gives me a new skill. Slightly disconcerting when it just rips you into a menu, you're like, what's going on? The game's playing itself! Blinding light. What's this one? Intense light that inflicts the dizzy effect against nearby foes. Interesting, that could be useful. I think I got a new one recently too. Needle strike, series of furious stabs. Alright, I'll map, I'll map that one to down, and that one to up. I think. I don't think either of them are mapped right now. There we go. That's 75, 35 percent uh, power. Ooh, fun. That could be good for damage, I'm sure. Let's get this mapped to down, and blinding light will be mapped to up. Or so goes my brain, anyway. I think that yeah, that's that's reasonable mapping. There we go. Uh, easily use those back to back. Don't want to test the other ones as much because they uh, require uh, less disposable currency. Hey, there's a chest over there. Let's go check that out. Well, this goes on all, all, sorts, all sorts of directions. It's just a huge maze. That's cool. Friends! you just been moitered. How's that feel? There we go. Are we clear? Anything left? Have I destroyed all life known to man? Oh, hey. Went through the wall. Was I supposed to do that? <laughs> Another one. I'm getting these faster than I can play with them. It's weird how it it feels the need to physically open the menu. <laughs> like they could just they could just skip to this screen and I wouldn't be that confused, but they physically open the menu step by step and it feels like the game's playing itself and it weirds me out. <laughs> Uh, Arctic Shroud. Embrace the chilling cold to prevent freeze and burn effects for a time. Interesting. It's a block against specific abilities, so, so if you know it's coming, you'd go ahead and map it. I wouldn't map it to my my quick bar right now, but uh, it's good to have it as an option, so I can, I can manually toggle it by opening the menu, and potentially map it to the quick bar if I'm in a specific situation where I think that's necessary. There we go. Hey guys, how you doing? 
Oh my goodness. Anyone left? You got more for me? I hope I haven't been forgetting those around. I don't think I've been sucking them in as much. Are there more enemies to fight? I didn't get an I didn't I didn't get an encounter score. Maybe that one didn't count. There's a chest over there. Right, I forgot the block is the same button. I was, I was trying to figure out how to get my dash back down. Hey! Oh, hey guys. Bye. Yeah, the POW meter is a dangerous thing. Oh! Yep, that, that attack's no joke. Oh, butterfly. Fantastic. Add all that to my supplies. We're good to go, I believe. Unless I can jump up at something. Nope. I have not accidentally uh, cast magic instead of leaving the menu yet. So so far, oops, my bad. So far, I'm doing a good job at not getting stuck on the on the map screen and then trying to cancel it by casting a spell. <laughs> Level six, you say? Die, frog! I hate nature. Oh shit. Okay, that's a little bit more dangerous looking. Oops, that's not what I was trying to do. There we go. Hey, buddy. Pay attention to me. <laughs> oh, that was bad timing to use that skill. Good. Down. Good. Nope, still getting S's. Yeah, I'm trying to get more S ranks by just being aggressive all the time. Mix antidote. Is it just a new recipe? Material plus Cubsbane. Removes poison from the body and also heals wounds. It also prevents it from being poisoned for a limited time. There's other examples of Clear Cloud plus Cubsbane, or Toxin plus Cubsbane plus two times two. So Cubsbane's the... is the material you use for, uh, antidotes. And we are f getting all sorts of in Oh, we're actually filling up on an inventory now. Uh, what's this map looking like? Only one more exit, which is the way we came from. I mean, the, uh, the way forward over there next to the rest location. I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and... Use one of these to get some food. I mean, these are... They are relatively weak heals, I guess. They recover 30, but I have all these... Strong heals that recover... Wow. Yeah, I have a lot of 100% heals. Let's just go ahead and eat in bulk. Increase that maximum hit points, huh? Level 6. All right, a bit more inventory space now. Where are we gonna come out now? Oh, tutorial. Mag magical potion grades. You can mix uh, ma uh, magical or material potions. Sorry, I just completely lost that. <laughs> Let's mix healing tonic with mulberry to increase its grade. So saying you can mix potions to increase their grades. Uh. All right, so mix. We're going to the healing tonic, and we're going to start the alchemical process by Adding in mulberry. Okay. Add. Mix in bulk is great for mixing multiple items. Select an item, it was square to mix in bulk. Okay. Did we, oh, we're making it a grade two healing tonic. Now it's all the more powerful. Does it? Does that double its healing power? Well, uh, wow, okay, there's just multiple pop-ups happening at once. As you can see, mixing a material or a magic potion will, with food, increase its grade and effects. This concludes the tutorial for magic potion grades. So we made it twice as effective at healing, but we did, it, it doesn't give me any experience, unfortunately, so that part doesn't transfer over. Although, get, although that is, those items would, would have healed me by 60 health, and, I, and they added 100 health to the potion, so it is a net gain in, in health healing. But you, yeah, you don't get the, uh, you don't get the effective bonus experience. Hi! Nice to meet you, too. Just gonna go through you real quick. Okay, I'm, I mean, they just kind of fell apart, didn't they? How you doing, buddy? Just gonna poke away at you for a bit. Oh, we got little friends. That's adorable. Ow. Ado the pain is adorable. Adorable pain is happening. Oh, okay. My bad. You got a lot of little forest friends. 
Why don't I? Why don't you invite me to be one of your forest friends? His head fell over. I almost feel pa sorry for the poor guy. Almost. Oh, okay. Okay. That was to the wrong attack to use in that context. Whoa. He can attack you all the way up there. There we go. Feeling all right? How's that for a dash? I love that that attack can actually be used as a dodge, basically. So when what, so as the enemy is turning towards me, I can just sort of dash straight through them and then effectively dodge past them the way I would in Dark Souls. How'd that pan out? That's Ness. That is Ness. Alchemy. The study of alchemy goes on to this day. Recently, scholars have discovered the ways to amplify effects of potions. Mixing fruit and other foods with materials, or even blending potions together, will increase the magic powers contained within. The higher quality of the ingredients used, the more potent the draught's arcane energy. I understand some of the nests. Oh, Power Stone! Where's Power Stone 3, Capcom? Where's Power Stone 3? We're all waiting. And we're all furious with you. Might as well visit the rest stop, because otherwise, when, am I, when else am I going to go there, right? At the very least... At, at least, at the very least, we'll grab a checkpoint real quick. Hi. Alright, so now we've got a little bit more map here. This place is pretty big. I don't even know where it ends. Hello. Why don't you buy something? You may be a famous Valkyrie, but you'll still get hungry out on the battlefield, right? What do you sell? Um, yeah, I'll buy a map. They seem incredibly cheap, all things considered. Why not just be able to see everything at once? Uh, recovery rate of the POW gauge is, uh, 20% up. Wow. That's, that seemed nice. Might buy another one of those and just stack them, honestly. Seems reasonable. I'm over- I'm fine on healing stuff. I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, could get some mulberry seeds. Might as well plant some of those for some extra experience while we're here. Oh, we got the area map. Now I can see everything. Can't carry any more mulberry seed. Alright, let's get planting. Because that's what I was about to do anyway. Got a few other options too. Plant in bulk. Photons needed 18. Oh. There we go. We'll stop there. Two mulberry seeds. Is that- oh right, we have to hold down this button. Momentarily forgot how to- what the command was for this. So many sparkles coming out everywhere. There we go. Die, plant- oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Caratier, come back here. Caught me off guard a little bit. Alright. Can't- Oh, there goes me cast- I did the thing I was talking about. I made the mistake. Alright, let's get some experience. Oops. Just a few- just enough menu items for me to get a little confused. There we go. Level 7. There we go. I like the little shield icon for leveling. It's pleasant. Anything else around in the- this- I grabbed the seats already, right? Yeah. Wild Rose Miles. This a stage will often have rose miles or or rosemilies, <laughs> which uh, uh, produce phosons in response to seeds. They release phosons when a seed is planted nearby. So give it a uh, try next time. Where? Oh, there's one. Okay. All the more reason to plant one here, I suppose. I'll, I'll plant it right up next to it, just so we're clear. Let's test this out. Oh, they, they're automatically... Oh, it automatically fertilizes the plant by giving its own essence to it. That's fantastic. Oh! No, carrot! Bad carrot. Running away from me. That's cool. So it gave me more energy to use while also giving me more ability to level up myself, too. I mean, I could plant, like, a few of these now. Oops. Mixing up buttons here. I'm so pro. I don't, don't, don't know if you noticed that. 
Alright, that should require 18. I don't see much reason not to do this right now. We good? There we go. Time to eat. <laughs> oh right, it consumes it from my top corner screen, doesn't it? I keep looking at my energy like it's gonna go down. That's why I thought that I didn't have enough when I... Because I thought I had, I had 17 mana. Or PP, I mean. I had 17 PP and I was like, I can't fertilize that many plants. But they come from my purple supply in the corner, the opposite corner. That's just my... That's my brain mixing things up. Dummy? Oh well, I've only played one real level so far, so I'm not gonna be hard on myself for screwing these kinds of things up yet. Definitely wish this was slightly faster, although it's being it's being made longer by the fact that I'm out of inventory space. Guess I'll have to start blowing some exp explosions at people. Uh, there's a power stone. Currently equipped are luck stones for item drop rates and max hit points. Not really cre- oh! Oh, you have to manually unequip them if you want to have a bit more control. Alright, we're gonna do Power Stone, Power Stone, Luck Stone. I don't think I need a Star Pendant that much. 10% hit points isn't the biggest deal. I mean, I just increased my hit points by like 50, kind of casually. But, uh, I totally want faster Luck Gauge increase. I mean, I mean, Pow Gauge. Let's watch that refill. 40% faster. I, I have no concept of how fast it, it, it looks or doesn't look right now. Let's, let's pick some items to sell. I'm pretty full up. Could probably sell a, a luck stone. It's a duplicate at this point. Just because, mostly because we're just a little full up right now. I could, I could probably use my plants at some point. Oh, I could plant a Rosemily. I didn't think about that. So I can put that out. It doesn't require Fozons, and it'll give me Fozons to ripen other plants. That's interesting. That is good to know. These attack potions uh, sell for nine each, which is a non-negligible bonus, but I can't help but think that it would just be more fun to use them in combat instead of selling them. I think I'll save them for the next boss and just blow everything to hell. Uh, this should lead right back to the beginning. Yeah, the S-ranked room from back there. So, onwards we go. Now we have a sense of the rest of the dungeon. So... Yeah. Probably gonna head north next, but the uh, we're about halfway to the final boss of this area. I don't see any reason not to do this. It seems to be pretty fast. It seems to be the ideal way of going fast in this game. I have no idea if it's faster or not, or if it just feels good. I don't. It may or may not be this game's equivalent of dodging backwards in the Symphony of the Night. Come back here, hey little guys. My favorite part of this game is all the Teddy murder. <laughs> it's just kind of fun. Oh, out of pal. Anyone else? Who else wants some? Oh, he was dead. That was it for him. <laughs> the end. S rank. Mandragoras. Mandragoras grow all around the land. These walking plants make fine additions to many recipes, whether culinary or alchemical. The five most well-known Mandragoras each have their own unique characteristics. Caratir, full of nutrients. These are the base of healing potions. Onion, brings luck and wards off evil. They are used in charms. Cubsbane, its venomous skin is used for making both poisons and antidotes. Terni, resistant to cold, their natural cooling effect is used to make cold soups. Habneristo, they grow in volca at volcanoes. What? That can't be good for you. And they use an incredibly, they're using incredibly spicy foods. All mandragoras have their uses. When you find one, remember their effects and ensure you make good use of them. Stuff on the ground everywhere. Ah. Num yummy, yummy. Alright, oh, I just beat up a seed. Oh, hey, come back here. Not getting away from me. A lot of, cr big emphasis on crafting and picking up items in this game so far. Let's see. Wanna go back over here, I believe. One little hidden spot. Um, hello? Underground, underground coin, and 
die, tomato. Pomegranate. That's the midair dodge. You can do a backflip by hitting R1. I don't know if the game ever told me that. Can I jump up through here? Nope. I think that was just a nice little cove. Should I be planting more stuff? Because I have... I could, I could probably make... Uh, if I planted some of these things, I could probably make items out of them. Resumably. So we are getting filled up again. So it's tempting. Let's go ahead and plant the... Rosemary? Rosemary? I'm so good at remembering what to call these things. Alright. So it's gonna grow up. Let's watch nature take its course, everybody! And it's gonna plant- Oh, look at that! Symbiosis. Well, not really. It's mostly freeloading. Freeloading. Unless- unless Rosemary naturally feed on molesberries, which would also be kind of alarming. Cause it'd be these, uh... This plant-on-plant -plant eating. Oh, that's a pomegranate. Oh, no. What do you do? 70 experience. Oh, hey. I mean, might as well. Let's just level up a bunch. So do me do wonders for my inventory space. There we go. It does slightly defeat the purpose, though, when you want to eat in bulk, still, uh... Does an individual screen, uh, an individual animation for each item, so it's like, eat in bulk. This will save time by taking exactly as long. I think it, it I think it cuts out the the uh, inventory management time though. 